Raider Nation, what's going on? We just got that 36-33 win over the Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving. Coming up here, we're going to get into our post-game reaction show. I'm going to give you some Raiders grades. I'm going to give you the highlights, some of the lowlights, and ultimately give you the big-time package, you know what I'm talking about, that you're looking for after this 36-33 win. Man, my heart stopped a little bit, but the Raiders improved to 6-0 on the season. When Derek Carr throws for more than 300 yards, and this was a nail-biter, but I'm going to give the Raiders a lot of credit here for being able to gut this one out and make him plays when it mattered the most. Carr, 24-39, 373 yards and a touchdown. Jacobs, 22 of 87 and a touchdown. Renfro, eight catches, 134 also. Major, major shout out to Deshaun Jackson who had three catches for 102 yards and a touchdown. But he also had like two or three really big penalties. Probably totaling close to like, I'm going to say 200 yards. The Cowboys, they didn't have Amari. They didn't have CeeDee Lamb really hurt their offense. But at the end of the day, you put up 36 points on the road when it matters the most. That deserves a just one baby. And I don't. I know everyone out there, the Raiders were 5-5. Five and five. Everyone's giving up hope and you want to talk about not having a lot of confidence in your team? We were talking about a freaking coin. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, somebody flipped a coin and it was exactly right literally all the way through. And now we're sitting here in this opportunity where Raiders are 6-5, and five, type just one baby, and shout out, hail to the coin. Well, let's look at the updated AFC playoff picture. After this Raiders win, as you can see, the Raiders are sitting there at 6-5. And five, tied with the Browns, tied with the Colts. Luckily for the Raiders, they actually got the game coming up against the Colts and the Browns here in a few weeks. But the season is not over. I've been preaching this. I've been just saying it. You can't give up on this season. The Raiders are still in the hunt, y'all. And last week after a Raiders loss, I said, you know what? Let me know. Predict their record. How many wins is this team going to have? And I've said up here and I've said, I think they're going to win 10 games. I think they're going to win 10 games. I don't know if that's going to be good enough to make the playoffs, but I really, truly believe that this team is not going to give up. So let's go to some questions here. This one's coming in from Gary Marsh. If you want to be featured, use hashtag Raiders or Super Chat. I'm losing my voice. Number 30 on the Cowboys is our best player. Yeah, he had four defensive pass interference against them. Really, really hurt it. Set up for a 29-yard field goal, though, by Carlson. Let's go to Ryan Hufford. Week one flashbacks. Yo, you ain't lying. I have, it's been so long for a Raiders win. I really thought the Raiders were trying to do no win November, but luckily they came out on top today in a game that, man, we needed. Let's go to Jack Bishop. Hit Hunter. That's what you'll do. So unfortunately, Jack, you didn't get your 6,000, but much love. Hunter had a great game anyway. 128 receiving yards. Let's go to Wild of 14. Just win my jersey bet. With the Cowboys co-owner. <laughs> Dude, I got so many bets going on. Tom's got to wear a Raiders jersey. Alice is going to have to wear a Raiders jersey. I'm putting a Raiders jersey on Chuck. And shout out to my barber. He uh, he made a bet with a bunch of his Cowboys fans. And now all they have to wear is Cowboys or Raiders jerseys. I'm getting a haircut this week. That's all I know. So let me know down in the comments section. How many games will the Raiders win after that big time? And I mean big time victory. That's the biggest win of the season. You've put hope back into your fan base. You put hope back into your organization. Let me know down in the comments how many wins for the Raiders this upcoming season. We got a super chat coming in from Jose Cortez. I love that the offense is putting up points, but if we want to make the playoffs, field goals in the red zone isn't going to cut it. You're not wrong whatsoever. However, though, 36 points is impressive. But I agree. You got to be able to look and see, like, okay, how can we get better? How can we improve? The Raiders were bad on third down conversions today. I believe they were like 1 of 7. And then, or technically 2 of 7. And then on, you know, in the red zone, sure Mariota had a rushing touchdown, which a lot of people are going to be excited about. But I agree. You need to see better production in the red zone. If I don't get to your guys' question, make sure you hit me up. IG, Twitter, Mitchell Ryan 365 Go check out my video I just posted on IG and me celebrating, having a good time. Let's go to Charlie. Feels like 0-2, Seabass, Rich Gannon, Tim Brown, Ronald Williams. I hope it's 0-2. I hope it's 0-2. Let's go to Dark Side Chevy. The coin is real. Yes. Again, somebody flipped a coin, and the coin so far has predicted every single game correctly. The coin also said that the Raiders are going to go 7-5. and five. They're going to take down the Washington football team. Fingers crossed. The coin's predicting 10-7. and seven. I predicted 10-7. and seven. Oh, wild. Let's go to the next one coming in here is from Brian Cullig. Hey, Mitch, how about those Raiders? They're not done yet. You're damn right, Brian. They're not done yet. That was a big-time win, a big-time response when you needed it the most. Shout-out to D.C. 
Shout out to Jacobs. Shout out to Renfro. Shout out to Deshaun Jackson. Those are your top four players. And then some guys on the defensive side of the football, they gave up quite a bit, but those are my four MVPs in today's game. Well, let's go to Ryan. The Tom coin, the effing coin, Tom AD, Tom TB, Tom Dallas, and Tom KC. $20 super chat, man. I'm, uh, I'm ready to get this party started. I don't know about you. I am ready to get this party started. Let's go to Daryl. DC, 375 yards. Yes. Carr was very good today. The Raiders, again, 6-0 and when Carr throws for over 300 yards. Also, an injury to keep in mind is Darren Waller. He left early. Really, really hoping that that knee injury to Waller is not severe. I know a lot of people are asking about some Waller drama, but from what I've heard, it's not true. So if you guys are Raider fans, let's get to 100K. If your voice is gone like mine, man, join the club. This has been a hell of a day. Excited that I got to celebrate it with the entire nation on Thanksgiving. We don't take any days off around here. So hit that big red button that says subscribe. If you bleed silver and black. Seriously, let's get to 100K subs. Let's go to Felipe. Trust the coin, baby. I know I might, I might go to instead of... If, if the Raiders go 10 and 7 and win the playoff or win the Super Bowl, I think instead of Chucky Heads, instead of the Just Win Babies, instead of the Shields, I think I might do coins. I'm not going to lie. Let's go to Alex D. Daniel is one cold blooded kicker. I mean, he was 5 for 5 today. If you would have told me the Raiders would have kicked five field goals, I would have said, how many points did we lose by? But Carlson, when it, he made a 50, what, 56 yarder. They made it 33-30. That was just ice in his veins. Hell of a game by him. I guess if I had to put, give five MVPs, yeah, Carlson definitely deserves to be in that list. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I really think one of the MVPs of today's game, man, was we always got awesome deals. And I'll tell you an awesome deal here in a sec. But first, who was the Raiders' Week 12 MVP? Let me know. Fill in the blank. I really think the answers are Derek Carr, Daniel Carlson. Probably with Carlson making five field goals, Hunter Renfro deserves a shout-out. Deshaun Jackson was incredible in this game. So from top to bottom, Jacobs, I thought, was well. Uh, Mariota had a rushing touchdown. Total team win. Let me know in the comments who was the Raiders' Week 12 MVP. If you want to be the MVP around the holidays or on Christmas, I got an awesome deal going on. If you head on over to chatsports.com slash Raiders hoodie, you can actually get the hoodie that you see on screen. It's 50% off. I'm telling you all right now, the deal's not going to last forever. It's going to go quick. Usually when we show products on the show and they're 50% off, dude, they're gone in less than 24 hours. So if you want this hoodie, it's usually $70. You can get it now for $34.99. Go to chatsports.com slash Raiders hoodie. It's going to be in the comments. It's going to be in the description. You have no excuses for missing this deal. Let's go to James. What up, James? I think losing Waller allowed us to not be so predictable on offense. I'm going to disagree because that means you're saying that the Raiders were better without Waller. Yes, they put up points. But no offense in the NFL is ever better without Darren Waller. Let's go to Slaughter Proof. All hail the coin. I just, I, I can't, you can't make this type of stuff up, man. For you to be six, for, for you to flip a coin, and for every single game so far in the Raiders season to be correct, I mean, this is just, it's wild to me. Let's go to Josh Southworth. That's my quarterback. You can rip on Carr. You can rip on the Raiders. But if you're able to come away with a win in this type of situation, very, very proud of this team. And yes, very proud of Derek Carr as well. Let's go to Sergio Macias. This is the offense that has to show every game except the penalties. Defense is regressing. Bradley has work to do. Coin for the head coach. Um, the offense definitely played better. The defense, sure, it definitely did struggle as well. But I also am going to give credit to the Cowboys because the offense was able to move the football without their top two wide receivers. What do you guys think here? Grade the Raiders offense against the Cowboys. A, B, C, D, or F. A, it was great. B, good, C, average, D, bad, F, failing. I'm going to give the Raiders offense an A grade. A lot, a lot of penalties in this game. It was kind of sloppy. I, I really actually think that it was a little, um, the Raiders got lucky on the penalty side of the football, if I'm being 100% honest with you all. But I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the Raiders offense an A. Very impressed. Over 550, I believe, total yards in this game. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty wild to me. Let's go to, excuse me, Jose Delgado. Mitch. Raiders! This win is a jump start for the Raiders. Just winning, baby. Raider Nation for life to the end. Absolutely. Let's go to Todd0864. Clearly, Marcus Mariota is the cure to our red zone woes. Get him on the field more. And I think what you saw today was the Raiders coaching staff hearing the nation and saying, okay, you want Mariota on the field more? We're going to put him on the field more. And he had some opportunities. He had a rushing touchdown, and 
That was probably the best red zone drive the Raiders had. I think it was the only time they scored in the red zone, actually. Let's go to Mashon. I always get this one wrong. Macho Manchez Boy. I think Carr stepped up this game. What do you think, Mitch? He did, absolutely. I mean, he had, I'm glad you put hashtag Carr got legs. One of the biggest plays of the game that people might forget is it's like third down and eight, third and nine. Nobody's open. Carr scrambled out to the right side, picked up 22 yards with his legs, and a major, major first down that led to a score. So, like, if you're able to pick up those key, key, uh, you know, first downs, I mean, Carr deserves a lot of love in this game. I, we've been hard on him for three weeks, but I think Carr would also say, I deserve a lot of the hate the last three weeks, but you also got to show the man some love. He was phenomenal today. Now, if I don't get to your questions, y'all remember, hit me up on IG, MitchellRents365. I promise you, I will go through my DMs. I am off the next two days. Though I will say, my dad leaves tomorrow, so I'm going to spend some time with him tonight. I'm going to spend some time with him tomorrow, so if I don't answer your questions over the next 24 hours, don't yell at me. I will get to them, though, before uh, before we get back here on Sunday. Hit me up, IG, Mitchell Rance 365 Let's go to Anthony Morales. What up? Carr gets the turkey leg. Shit, he better get two turkey legs. Hell, I better get a turkey leg. I'm starving right now. I've been here all day cheering on my Raiders. I am a one hungry dude. Let's go to Mark. Carr got it back on the road today. That's our quarterback. Gets it done when it matters. Let's go, Raiders. And Carr didn't get the turkey leg. Daniel Carlson got the turkey leg. Good for Carlson, man. Daniel Carlson. Kickers are people, too. Yeah, I'm going to tweet that out right now. Daniel Carlson gets the turkey leg. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's go to Can't Walk. Camp, dude, how you doing, brother? Much love, miss you. A little ugly, a win is a win. You're right, a win is a win, and at this point, I'll take almost any win I possibly can. The last time the Raiders won was freaking week seven against the Eagles, and I really thought, like I said, they were trying to do no win November. Luckily, I get the shave tonight. Let's go to Sergio Macias. DC, Daniel Carson, Carlson, for game MVP. How about them cry boys? How about them cowgirls? Oh my gosh. The amount of bragging rights I get. It's so good. It's so good. Good thing you guys can't see below the table or else I'd probably get banned from, from YouTube because that's how excited I am. Let's go to Jaden Perkins. The Cowboys already hit my line. <laughs> F the Cowboys, Jaden. F the Cowboys. Let's go to Zachary. This is for the car haters. Laugh my ass out. Without Waller, we still pulled it off. That's leadership, baby. Car can do it under any circumstance. Can't blame him for everything. You're right. You can't blame Car for everything. Now, I am curious to see what you guys grade the Raiders' defense because I thought they played well in the first half. I thought they held the Cowboys. You know, it was 17-13 going into the half, and then a lot, a lot of points scored in the second by both squads. So grade this on a scale from 0 to 100. 0 being they did terrible, 100 they did great. I'm probably going to be somewhere around like a 65 because the fact that the Cowboys didn't have their top two receivers, if they had their top two receivers... I think this might have been a little bit of a different game. So I'm going to give him a 65 grade. Shout out to the offense. So let's go to Jaden Perkins. I meant Raiders. Yeah, you better have meant Raiders. Let's say, Jaden, what are you saying Cowboy stuff for? I was like, wait a minute. I don't know what's going on in your picture there. I don't know if Kermit the Frog's getting something, but it looks interesting. Let's go to Jess. And they wanted Mariota to start. Laugh out loud. That's always going to happen. And I know people get mad at me for talking about Mariota on my show. But again, that's my job. I try to give the nation a voice, but I said all week, you start Derek Carr, you give Mariota his snaps, you put him in the red zone. Carr started, Carr played great, put Mariota in the red zone, he got a touchdown, all around great coaching performance, I thought. In that regard, can still get a lot better, though. Let's go to Alex Thompson. What up, my dude? Oh, Carr is terrible, we need to cut him, play Mariota hot. Carr's the man, and it's just been in bad circumstances. Carr, just the playoffs, just one, baby. Hope so. We own OT. So far, yes. Uh, so far, the Raiders are 3-0 in overtime this season. You took down the Ravens. You took down the Dolphins. And now you took down the Dallas Cowboys. So Raiders in overtime. Seems to be pretty good to me. Let's go to Cameron Sproul. Not ready to break out the champagne just yet. You're right. And you shouldn't be ready to break out the champagne. But in the NFL, every game is a tough one. And the fact that you're able to win... I, uh, I'm gonna have some. Uh, I'm gonna have some drinks tonight. That's all I gotta say. So if you're in downtown Dallas, if you're in downtown Dallas tonight, hit me up. Let's uh, let's go celebrate. Let's go to Rick Valdez. Never doubted Carr. I had questions, but never doubted it. This game was intense. Yeah, I don't I don't see any tense around here, but I definitely thought it was intense as well. Shout out to Rick. Much love. Let's look at the Raiders' next five games. Week 13 
up against Washington. That one's at home in Las Vegas. Week 14 at the Chiefs, then at the Browns, then against the Broncos, and then at the Colts. Guess what? We're going to be doing watch parties for every single game, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss a thing.